We have a lot of names for the devices that we use to listen to music and other audio mediums without disturbing others. Headphones, earphones, ear speakers, cans. And all of those words mean pretty much the same thing. So that's not the focus of today's video. What is the focus of today's video is the different types of drivers that you might find inside them. Drivers or transducers convert the electrical signal sent through the cable or the air, if you're using wireless or Bluetooth or whatever, to the sound waves that your ears hear. So first up is the most common type of headphone driver, the moving coil driver, also known as a dynamic driver. It consists of a stationary magnet attached to the frame of the headphone. This creates a static magnetic field, a diaphragm, and a coil wire or voice coil. The voice coil actuates the diaphragm based on the varying current that gets passed through the coil, and the moving diaphragm combined with the air moving around it creates the sound that you hear. Practical dynamic driver sizes for headphones are anywhere from tiny 10 millimeter or sometimes even smaller drivers that fit inside IEMs to big 55 millimeter, you know, pounding bass capable drivers that you'll find in over ear headphones. And the main benefits of these are that they are inexpensive to produce, keeping manufacturing costs relatively low for entry level products. And if engineered correctly, they can deliver a wide enough frequency range with enough accuracy that even high end audiophile grade products can be built using this technology. Electrostatic drivers, they're a little different. They consist of a thin diaphragm, typically made of coated polyethylene tetraphthalate film, which is electrically charged and suspended between two perforated metal plates or electrodes. The electrical sound signal is applied to the electrodes, which produces an electric field between them and draws the diaphragm towards one plate or the other. Air is then forced through the perforations or the curves on the electrodes, which when combined with the moving diaphragm due to the constantly changing electrical signals, creates sound waves, which your ears hear. Electrostatic drivers are generally capable of producing a very wide range of frequencies and their frequency response often extends well above the audible limit of approximately 20 kilohertz. Nowadays, electrostatic drivers are only really present in high-end audiophile grade headphones since they're quite expensive to produce, require stronger amplification, and the benefit for most people simply doesn't justify the additional cost. Orthodynamic or planar magnetic drivers operate on a similar principle but use large permanent magnets and vary the charge of the membrane to produce sound. The final type that we're highlighting today is balanced armature or BA drivers. BA. They're the smallest ones available and they're incredibly power efficient which makes them great for IEMs, also known as canal phones, and for hearing aids actually. This driver type features a coil wrapped armature that is pivoted and then perfectly centered or balanced between the poles of a permanent magnet. Then, when a current passes through the coil, it causes the armature to pivot, passing vibrations to the drive rod, which is attached to the center of a diaphragm, and the movements of the drive rod cause vibrations in the diaphragm, creating the sound that you hear. Common theme here, right? These drivers give a clean, accurate sound, but typically have a fairly narrow frequency response range. They also don't really deliver head crushing bass and are very limited in performance at the extreme of the human hearing range, but they are often joined with much success with other BA or dynamic drivers in a passive crossover network to expand the overall frequency range of the in-ear monitor, with each driver focused on a certain band. Do note though that when shopping for headphones, more does not always mean better. So do your research on the quality of the drivers inside a pair of IEMs before you pay some ridiculous amount of money just because they have 16 BA drivers in each side or something. Now, as I mentioned before, actually I didn't mention it before because I altered the script before I did this, but anyway, this video is by no means comprehensive, but it should give you a good idea of what the main differences are between the most popular driver types, as well as a couple of notes on, you know, the less popular electrostatic planar magnetic ones. If you're interested in learning a lot more about headphone drivers, head over to headfi.org as their forums have a ton of information about all aspects of headphones. But it's a very passionate community, so bring your FUD filter and probably a dictionary. You're very likely to need both. Speaking of things that you are likely to need, if you have a computer, 
computer, fans, cases, and power supplies. Cooler Master is the sponsor of today's episode of Fast as Possible, and they've got tons of awesome products in those three categories, and actually many more, including gaming peripherals like headsets, mice, and keyboards under their CM Storm brand, and even mobile accessories. They've been a longtime supporter of our content here on Tech Quickie, and we could not be happier to have them on the channel. I think the best testimonial that I can give you guys about Cooler Master is that we can choose pretty much any hardware we want, and we use their V-Series power supplies in our editing workstations here at Linus Media Group. So thanks to Cooler Master for sponsoring this episode. Guys, be sure to check out Cooler Master and CM Storm at the link in the video description if you're in the market for a new PC or thinking about upgrading some of your components. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possible episodes. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.